think it's a great uh, piece of legislation. Um, you know, um, from now on, um, if you buy content in the internet, uh, be it uh, music, be it videos, be it uh, games, whatever, you can take that content uh, into all member states in the European Union. The EPP group's Angelika Nibla on a step towards Europe's digital single market that impacts a lot of Europeans who work or travel cross-border inside the EU. It's called portability of online content. When you log in in, in another st member state, yeah, you get all uh, you you get all uh, uh, all the contents which you have uh, paid for. You can think of videos, you can uh, think of movies, you can think of uh, sports events. The reform, for which Nibler is shadow rapporteur, got the green light from the Parliament's Legal Affairs Committee on Thursday. It comes as the EU prepares to dismantle mobile roaming charges in mid-2017. Cutting those charges will make music, movies, e-books, games, TV broadcasts and other cultural content more affordable cross-border. And now, with content portability, you won't miss your favorite TV show or sports event through paid online subscriptions when you are traveling inside the EU. It's actually an, an, uh, an exception from geo-blocking. Yeah? So normally we have this principle of territoriality that means that where you, the country in which you have bought your content, you can use the content. Uh, uh, and normally, you know, all the creative people, you know, they license content for a strict territory. But by um, implementing this uh, uh, portability directive now, we have the result that this uh, territorial principle is, um, is, is, is abolished for, for that specific content. For the content creators, their copyright protection will still stand. The legislation allows for verification that the content user is indeed only traveling, not living abroad. For us, the most important thing is that the creators, the ones who really have all these ideas and, uh, the, uh, and, and do all these in, in innovations, that they also get a fair uh, share in, in what is, is going to be earned by their inventions. With the committee's approval, the regulation goes before the full parliament for approval in May and would take effect in spring of next year. Parliament is really doing a great job because, you know, we are living in a digitalized world and what we want to do also by, by this uh, piece of legislation, creating the digital single market here in the European Union. And for that, I think this is a very uh, important piece um, uh, of, of, of legislation. The legislation notes that as the number of Europeans using these is rapidly growing, so is the demand for online content across Europe's internal borders. So the content portability law is simply responding to a powerful force that is shaping Europe's digital single market, the consumer. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.